This video is going to give an introduction to conditional statements in MATLAB and in particular we're going to focus on if statements. So we've established in the earlier videos that it's useful to have script files for doing sequences of operations. However, sometimes the specific computation we want to do depends upon the outcome of a previous computation. And so such decisions are denoted as conditional. They're conditional on what's already happened. This resource gives an introduction to basic conditional operations that can be coded in MATLAB. Now, you'll notice that the coding is largely intuitive and follows reasoning that should be easy for humans to follow. So, what is logic in programs? So, many circumstances need decisions. So, the action a computer code take may depend upon a decision. For example, <coughs> how big should an axis be in a plot? Should I use algorithm 1 or algorithm 2 and how do I decide? Do I have enough information to solve this problem? Has the user supplied a proper value or made a typo? And all of these, you can see, lead to decisions. Decisions based upon some evaluation of the data you've already got. So what we're going to do now is look at how we can incorporate this decision making into our code. So common conditional operations are things like equality comparisons, are two numbers the same? Greater than or less than comparisons, is one number bigger or smaller than another? Yes, no decisions. Logical operations such as and and or. Text comparisons, so for example, are two strings the same? Membership tests. And in fact, if you want a more complete list, I suggest you go onto MATLAB and use the command help ops and it will give you a bigger list of possible operations. Here, we're going to focus on the if statement. So an if statement. The action depends upon whether a given variable is bigger or smaller than a set value. So here you can see I've used the if, I've said if it is too cold, turn on the heating. So you see the action turning on the heating depends on this if statement of if it is too cold. And so we're going to look at the numerical value of temperature. Here's a similar one. The action relies on two values being equal. So if the two persons share a birthday, celebrate together. So you can see the action, which is the celebration, depends upon a comparison of the two people. Here's another one. The action might depend upon a multiple of numeric tests. So here you can see if the date is in the summer and I have more than £30 spare cash, then I can buy a new swimsuit. So you can see here the action depends upon the truth of two statements, the date and a cash. So how does MATLAB deal with these sorts of comparisons? Well, in simple terms, MATLAB uses the if statement. Here you see I've written if, so it simply writes, here's an example, if A greater than B, if this is true, I perform whatever code is immediately after that if statement, and the end tells me I have finished. So it says, if A is greater than B, whatever code is between the if statement and the end statement, that code I will implement. Now, there is an alternative way of writing the same statement, which you see I've written here. Alternatively, you can write if GT A comma B, and that also means if A is greater than B. So you'll notice the action, that is the code, depends on whether the numerical value of A is greater than the numerical value of B. If it's not, then the code will do nothing. Here's a different example. If A less than or equal to B, and again you'll notice there's an equivalent statement, you can write if LE brackets A comma B. So you can compare if A is smaller than or equal to B and then action accordingly. There are a number of alternatives. You can check for strict equality with a statement like this. If A equals equals, you'll notice the use of two equal statements together. MATLAB interprets this as I'm comparing A to B and asking are they the same. Alternatively, you can say if EQ A comma B. You can do if A greater than or equal to B and the equivalent statement is GE A comma B. You can do if A is less than B, and the equivalent statement is LT A, B. 
Now you can also combine logical statements or these comparisons together. So in other words, you can use the logical statements, things like and, or, xor, and not. So first we'll look at and. Now a shorthand for and is this symbol here that you'll see I've put in the code. So what does this statement say? You'll see I've got if A is equal to B, I've written A equals equals B, and then I've got the and statement and C is greater than D. So this conditional will only action the code if both of those statements are true because an and requires both to be true. Now alternatively you can use this code and brackets a equals equals b comma c greater than d. The or statement follows a similar sort of syntax except now you'll see we use this vertical line in between to say that we're doing or. So if brackets a equals equals b and then that vertical line brackets c greater than d is interpreted as if a is the same as b or if c is greater than D. And you'll see the equivalent statement using sentences. I can write or brackets a equals equals b comma c greater than d. You may prefer to use the and and the or because you may say it's pretty explicit in the code what's going on, whereas using these symbols, vertical line and that operator may be less obvious. Other commands, and you can use help um, on MATLAB to see how these work, is xor, <coughs> which will say that one but not both the conditions must hold and also not which checks is the condition false so now what we'll do is some live <coughs> demonstrations with MATLAB so we'll go to the MATLAB window here so there's a script file and then we'll find the command window so first of all we'll start with some basic <coughs> if statements you'll see here I've assigned some values to a a is 1 b is 2 and now I've got some if statements which are looking at a and B. So you'll see this one says if A is less than B then display yes A is less than B. If A is bigger than B do the following display and if A equals B do the following display. So let's run this command. I'll type F5 and you'll see what's happened over here. It says yes A is less than B because A is 1 and B is 2. Now if I go here and change A to say 3 and then I'll run again and you'll see now what it's come out with is yes, A is greater than B. So you'll see this piece of code is doing these simple numerical actions and then the code that's being carried out is this bit between the if statement and the end statement. Okay, now let's find example B. There it is. This example B introduces this concept of else if. So you can have a number of possibilities. So you'll see here First it starts with if a is greater than or equal to 2, then I do the following code. And then else, so it's saying if that wasn't true, what you could try next is, is a greater than or equal to 1? And if that's true, perform this code. And then there's another else if, well if that's not true either, how about this one? If a is greater than or equal to naught, then do this code. And finally, if none of those are true, so the else statement basically says if none of the other statements are true, then perform the following code. So, you see I've got here a equals 3, and you'll see therefore the first statement, a greater than 2, will be actioned, and I should get the answer equals high. So let's run this and see what happens. And there you can see it said a equals 3, a is 3, I get high. So that's what's come out. Now let's change a to 1.5. So what do we expect to happen now? A is not greater than 2, but it is greater than 1, so I expect to get this answer middle. So let's run. And there you go. You see A is 1.5, A is middle. What if I put something like minus 5? You'll see it's not bigger than 2, it's not bigger than 1, it's not bigger than 0, so it defaults to the else, and I should get the answer of none. So let's run that. And there you can see I get the answer of none. <coughs> okay, let's now look at file C. Now this file is to show the use of the logical operations AND and OR. So you can see here I've got an AND statement and I've got A bigger than B bigger than or equal to B and A less than or equal to 1. So let's have a look. I've got A is 3.3, B is 4.2. So A is not bigger than B 
So this AND statement is going to fail and I won't get this output. What about the next one? If, and I've got an AND statement again, LT means less than, so if A is less than B, so here you can see is A is 3.3, B is 4.2, so that will be true. And greater than is A greater than 1, that will be true, so this statement should be actioned. And then the final one at the bottom, I've got this OR statement. Basically, if A is less than B, or if B is equal to. Well, in this case, A is less than B, so both of these statements should be acted. So let's run the code and see what happens. And you can see we get A is less than B and greater than 1. That's the middle statements. That's actioned. Either A is less than B or B equals 2. That's this one. That was actioned. Now we can change the values. Let's make A equal 5.3. Let's make B equal to 2. Run it again. What do you expect to happen? And you can see here either A is less than B or B equals 2, which is this statement here. And both of these two have failed. OK, let's go to D. So D is showing that you can nest statements. So you'll see I've got an if statement here if A is greater than 2 and the corresponding code has got more if statements. So it says once I've checked whether A is greater than 2 I then want to do some additional checks and here you see I've got an AND statement an alternative AND statement. And then I've got an else if else if A is less than 0 do this and then the else if neither of those are true then do these statements. So if I run this file um, you'll see that A is 1.3, B is 4.2 and what output do we get? It says A is between 0 and 2 and B is less than 5. So in other words it's defaulted to this one down here. Now you can look at this code in your own time using the link on the website and try changing the A and B values and see what happens and then you'll get a better understanding of how all these nested conditions are working. OK, so these slides simply show the same code, so they're on the slides just in case you want to see them. So in summary, we've demonstrated the use of is, if, else if and end statements in MATLAB. We've primarily focused on numerical comparisons, just as a quality greater or lesser. Um, it is also possible to compare strings and matrices. We haven't shown that here, but you need to be a lot more careful if you're going to do things like that. And the core principle here is that the code is implemented if and only if a particular conditional statement is satisfied. So it allows you to control what your code does.